Hi, this is Mrs. Warren coming from you from Studio BBJH, and I just wanted to go through our lesson today on May 17, 2017. It's a pretty important lesson if you want to participate, so I went ahead and made a screencast. And again, you can pause this at any time to get a closer look or to read or repeat any of the directions. Now, when everybody first came in, they cleared off their desk, and you have to grab two complement papers, kind of look like big charts off the front table, and you can get those when you return. Now, I read a story about where I got the idea for this uh, from a book. You're welcome to have the story if you want to, but basically what it comes down to is we're just going to have to be nice to each other. Yes, this activity is called All the Good Things. Now, you are going to write down all the names of your classmates on the charts that I have attached on my website, and you are going to write the best thing that you can think of to write about every person in your classroom. Now, in turn, they're going to write one for every person in their classroom, and that includes you. But we need, there's some rules that go along with being nice. Yes, there are rules to everything. So I'm going to go through through a few tips for you. Um, first of all, these are all anonymous. You may not compliment on somebody's physical appearance or their dress. We are complimenting people on their behavior or their character, how they have acted, how they have impacted the classroom, how positively impacted the classroom, how they have uh, contributed to your junior high experience in some way. And you need to write legibly. There's really, it's really not a compliment if no one can read it. Now, when you remember, when you're writing these compliments, you're going to receiving these two. What do you want your envelope to look like? How do you want people to perceive you? Do you want an envelope that says you're nice, you're nice, you're nice? And when I say envelope, at the end of uh, the day before the last day of school, you're going to receive an envelope full of all the compliments your classroom or your, excuse me, your classmates have paid to you. So when you open up that all those compliments and you look at all these little strips of paper that have all the nice things everybody has said about you, think about what do you want yours to look like? So when you are writing yours, keep that in mind. If you want to write the same thing for every student, you're going to have it handed back to you. Nobody wants, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool, you're cool. That means somebody just didn't take the time to write anything personal. Now, there are no short compliments allowed. Like I said before, you're cool. Now, you can use this. You can use you're nice. But you have to add because. They won't count, and I'll, add, I'll hand them back to you. Now, you want to use sentence stems if you get stuck. Those are on, I believe, the next page. Now, you're going to have some hard, but you're going to have to not repeat. Every person is significant and unique in your classroom. You need to think of something about them that is unique for them. And it doesn't have to always be in history class. It can be in science. It could be in seventh grade. It could have been something you observed in the hallway or in athletics. Now, these are some... Instagram comments. Uh, last night on my Instagram, I asked former students to give me some feedback on what they thought of their compliments. Some of these students are seniors in high school at Magnolia High School, or they're college students or sophomores or whatever. But you can pause and read those over if you like. Okay. Now these are going to be due on Monday, May 22nd they have to be in by Monday. If they are not, you will not receive your envelope. I have to have them that early so I can cut and sort them. There's going to be four to five thousand comments and compliments that I have to sort for my students. So I'm going to need a couple days to do that. If you do not choose to do this assignment, you will not receive all the compliments. It's not fair that they took the time to write something nice about you and because you didn't doesn't mean that you should deserve those. So it's not a grade. Uh, I don't think it's proper for me to grade you for being nice, but you will receive all your envelopes if you do so. Now, feel free to add any BBJH teachers to your list. 
Um, this is also going to contain students from my other classes. You are more than welcome to add those to your list as well, but do not add anybody outside of my classes. They will not receive it, but any teachers, coaches, anybody like that will. Now these are the sentence stems. When you have a tough time trying to figure out something to say or how to start it, this is a good place to start. Please make sure that you complement something that you have observed if you're having trouble. You don't have to know someone personally or be good friends with them to say something nice about them. Maybe they uh, helped you on a math problem one time, or maybe you saw them being nice to their friends, or maybe you know that they're in band so they must work really hard, or something like that. Or, or you might have saw them help somebody in the hallway one time, uh, helping somebody with their backpack whatever. If you have a problem with a particular person, please come see me in private. We'll work it out or I'll help you out and we'll see what we can do. But try to be as specific as possible about what you've noticed about them. Here's grade two, period two, sorry, my period four, my period five, my period six, my period seven. Please stop which on, on your class uh, period. Copy down those names. The minimum required to get your envelope is just your class. Like I said before, if you want to add anybody from any other class, teachers, coaches, administrators, that's, you know, principals, Dr. King, uh, Cooper, Orlando, Miss Ward, uh, counselors, any secretaries like Miss Sass or Miss Smith, any cafeteria workers or custodians because they do a fantastic job as well. As I said, I believe that is all I have for you. Please ask questions if you need to. There will be a digital copy located on my website. So if you choose to uh, type these out, you can email it to me and I will be happy to print them out for you at school. Once again, these are due on Monday the 22nd and I'll see you tomorrow.